hello guys welcome to forest trading strategies if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can stay notified whenever we have new content for you then we have a telegram channel as well do not forget to join our telegram channel where we give you updates timely updates okay on how you can trade profitably so in this video i'll be teaching you guys how you can scalp or how you can milk the boom and crash using the b williams okay using the b williams so we we'll just move on to uh b williams straightforward we'll move on to our meta trader 5 sorry and we'll try to set it up so this is my meta trader 5 right here so i'll be trying to set it up to to uh, trade the boom and crash so this is crash 500 okay so if you want to add the bill williams so you just go to your inserts so this is mc5 on pc it is quite different on phone but you just go to your icon and add it under the b williams so we click on insert we click on indicator then you come to b williams so you can see b williams right here so you can see these are the indicators under the b williams we only need the alligator so once you click the alligator you click on ok so it didn't add anything because i have my alligator so you can see my alligator so the 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 settings the parameter for the alligator will be the default parameters if you can check here b williams alligator i can see these are the parameters so i won't be touching anything out of it i'll just click on ok i need to show it here just as it is right now before us so the next thing we want to do again is this histogram right here so this is b williams okay this this is awesome oscillator you can see a o awesome oscillator so this is another indicator under the b williams as well so we just head on to our insert again we click on indicator click on b williams b williams and click on awesome oscillator so you can see the parameters levels and everything we won't be tampering with anything they will just click on ok and to show okay so you can see that it shows twice so this can be duplicated so we just delete one just move ahead to delete one so delete indicator so we only need one of it because that is all what we need okay so now we are done setting up our b williams so the next thing is to determine our trend so let's head on to to move to know how we can determine our trend basically to determine your trend once the candle or the price action is over is b is uh, above the alligators that is an uptrend what am i trying to say let me see if i can if i can so at this point so here this is an uptrend you can see the candle or the price action is above the alligator line as at this point you can see it started from here that it came to this place then you can see as at this point right here it is above the the three alligators line so this is an uptrend from here to all this they are uptrend okay so this is how you determine your uptrend so this is our uptrend in one minute now if you are going to scrap it this is crash right and we know that the normal movement of the crash is upward so it moves up so we would like to check it in other bigger time frames so that we can have peace of mind so we can trade more efficiently okay so we need to go and check it in other bigger time frames let's check five or 15 minutes let's check five minutes and see so as at this place you can see this is an uptrend here let me let me see if i can get the arrow up you can see that the price action crosses the the three alligators on this point so that is an uptrend okay so from here to this point that is an uptrend let me see if i can get the numbers of candles involved in those two lines so you say 24 bars 24 22 bars that is an uptrend okay so from this point here to here is 22 but that is an uptrend so we just like to know the trend of the market another bigger time frame before we start trading so let's check it in 15 minutes as well so it will be limited to 15 minutes alone once you are able to check it in one in five minutes and 15 minutes and we have the same thing then we can go back to one minute and trade okay so uh, let's see 
have not seen a serious trend. Uh, majorly, the crash market has been summer of lately, but you have to check for it. You have to check. Okay, for for example, let's say here that we have an uptrend from here. You can see from here to here is uptrend, and each one is 15 15 minutes, so that's a whole lot of minutes. So, as we waited here, and it shows us an uptrend from here, an uptrend from here. Okay, this is where it crosses the alligator line, it shows an uptrend from here okay see here so i'll just try and mark this point and let us check it in one minute let's try and mark this point okay option so let's go back to one minute and see if we are if we can find it let's see if we can get the portion we marked easily Oh, I can't find it. I don't know why. Okay, so awesome. This is the portion we marked in 15 minutes. So you can see it in one minute. See how long it is. See how long it is. So that is a whole lot of uptrend in one minute. A whole lot of uptrend. Now, so what do we have to watch out for before we trade it in one minute? After we might have confirmed the 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 trend in 15 minutes or that bigger time frame how do we trade this in one minute now to trade this in one minute what we have to look at for wait for a crash to happen okay wait for a crash to happen once the crash happens then we know that it is time for us to enter the market so for example we wait for a crash to happen so after we verified it we verify at this point this is where we verified it in 15 minutes so wait for this one minute it keeps going until there's a crash so there is a crash once there is a crash we wait for the uh the market to start buying okay so we start sell uh buying below or buying above the three alligators what am i trying to say we verified the time frame or the the trend of the market in 15 minutes after we verify it we comes to the lower time frame like the one minute then we wait for a crash to happen so this is the first crash that happened after the crash happened so we wait for it to start buying again like after two candles so we we'll enter the market normally you have to wait until it it buys above the three alligators again but this is a very small crash so and it is not even near the alligator so talk less of going below in it so we just wait for like two candles to be sure there's no recurring spikes then we just enter the market for three or four minutes so for example wait for the two candles and we enter for three or four candles you can see that is this is a minute candle each so this is four minutes so we stay out of the market this is a crash that happened wait for two minutes as well we enter for four minutes we stay out of the market this is a crash so we wait for the two candles we enter for four minutes let me check here we enter for four minutes here four four bars okay you can see here that is four minutes okay so we we wait for a crash to happen again okay you see we enter here the crash happened we wait for two bars we enter this crash happened there you can see this is a good this is a healthy crash now this is a healthy crash so it touches the alligator so we just what we have to do is wait for it wait for it to cross the alligators again when it starts buying above the alligator line you can see it start buying above the alligator line here so we can enter and take four minutes candle so let's see and at this point we enter and take four minutes candle so you can see there's a crash here as well we enter and take about four minutes candles so you can see within this 15 minutes we'll have made a lot of trade once we confirm the trend we'll have made a lot of trade four minutes we stay we stay out four minutes we stay out four minutes we stay out now this is another healthy crash here then we stay out after four minutes as well but are we going to use the alligator and the price action to determine it alone no we are not going to do that so we need to add this awesome oscillator to it as well okay so basically once there's a crash for example here this is a crash right here this is a crash right here you can see on that crash it shows a red on the awesome oscillator so it shows a red so we wait for it to change to blue back by waiting for it to change to blue 
whichever time it's changing to blue it is above the alligator it is above the three alligators so for example let's check it so it crashes here we have a red we wait until it changes to blue you can see at that point that it changes to blue it's trading above the alligators already you can see it's trading above the alligator then we can enter for our four minutes so whenever we have a crash there will be red you can see whenever we have a crash there will be red we wait for it to change back to blue then we enter okay so when we have a crash this crash is a bit big we wait for it to start trading above the alligator you can see that at this point start trading above it then you enter so it's as simple as that you wait for it to start trading above it you enter for three or four minutes so using this kind of uh, strategy you'll be able to trade for long so once you confirm it in 15 minutes and you come here to one minute and you don't have to take the trend all the way up okay so you'll be able to make pretty money with this so with this uh chances or with these opportunities that we've created we've created about six or seven of them if you are using 0 0.1 so if you're using 1.0 loss size that is that is a considerable good uh good or uh, money for you cause or uh, considering the fact that whichever time we are entering the market we are taking four minutes so that's like four dollars then times seven that's about 28 or there about so that is good money for for you so this is how you use this b william to trade okay so for some of us that will be trading it on mobile platform and we'll be needing explanation on that as well so there's be a video coming up on it shortly okay so thank you guys for watching once again this is forex trading strategies and congratulations to everyone we hit 2000 subscribers yesterday okay so thank you guys all and bye for now